In this video, we're going to use the limit loss to evaluate the limit of a function. It says use the limit loss to evaluate limit as x approaches 2 of negative 2x squared minus 2x minus 2 divided by x cubed plus 7. So there are numerous uh, limit laws. The first limit law that we're going to use is the basically the division limit law, which says if you have a division problem, they call it the quotient rule, but if you have the division problem, you can split this limit between the numerator and the denominator. So we can write this as the limit as x approaches 2 for the numerator, negative 2x squared minus 2x minus 2, and the denominator which would be the limit as x approaches 2 of x cubed plus 7. And then you can actually use the sum laws, the sum and difference laws, for the numerator and the denominator uh, separately. So we can say that the limit as x approaches 2 for negative 2x squared plus the limit as x approaches 2 of negative 2x plus the limit as x approaches 2 for negative 2. And do the same thing on the bottom. We would have limit as x approaches 2 for x cubed and the limit, so plus the limit as x approaches 2 for 7. So we're going to evaluate each of these limits uh, individually and write out what those limits would equal. So if I evaluate the limit as x approaches 2 for negative 2x squared, plug in 2, 2 squared would be 4, that's negative 8, plus, plug in 2 here, I'd have plus negative 4 because that'd be 2 times negative 2, and then evaluate the limit as x approaches 2. For negative 2, that's just negative 2, so I have plus negative 2, all divided by 2 cubed, which is 8, and then the limit as x approaches 2 for 7 would just be 7. So negative 8 plus negative 4 plus negative 2 would be negative 14, and 8 plus 7 is 15. So we can say that the limit as x approaches 2 for negative 2x squared minus 2x minus 2 divided by x cubed plus 7 is equal to negative 14 over 15.